Hello guys! Now this video we will explain something about the net configuration. How to create the pool, how to combine with the ACL together. If you want to know it, let's see the detail of the video. Thank you. This video we will talk something about the net lab guide because we already know some basic principle of the net technology. And uh, first, uh, let's say the background. If our company has built an infrastructure network and our internet users need to act, uh, access the internet, for example, maybe to open some website and to download some, some resources, something like this. And now the company has requested 15 public IP addresses in the range from 183.5.1.1 to 153.5.1.15 from an operator. And uh, now we need uh, the internet user access the uh, internet and use this public IP address to translate the private IP address. So this is our basic requirement. And uh, the lab purpose is let us to understand the principle and application scenario of the dynamic net technology and of some special applications of static source address translation technology. And we also have to master the configuration commands and uh, the status check commands of dynamic net and also static source address translation technologies. So we will do two types of net technology, one for static way and another one for the dynamic net. And here is the topology. We will use some uh, terminal uh, and uh, router to simulate the service of our private network part. And about the left, uh, right part is the ISP network and we use the radio router to do the net technology. And about this lab, we have some basic requirements. The first one, this is the IP and the VLAN planning of the whole network. What's the segment of PC1 and PC2? And what's the VLAN of these devices? And about the left simulator, I already added the main parameters on the topology. So when we do the configuration, it's easy for us. And the second one, we, uh, we also just design the IP address connect with the public network, like the router net and the ISP R1, and also the public terminals. But pay attention, you will find that the router net IP address and ISP R1, this address is different IP segment with our net public IP address. They belong to different IP segments. So when we do the configuration, we need to add a special a uh, static or maybe dynamic way to let the uh, routing configuration is successful. Otherwise, although maybe you deploy the net technology, the network connection is broken. And the third requirement is PC1 and PC2 and the server can access the internet. That means to wait the ISP users and the client of the internet the right client also can access the port 23 and then to wait the server through the internet network. So there are four requirements. And according to these requirements, we also have some configuration idols, some basic configuration like IP address, like the VLAN and the static routing, something like this. And also we have to finish basic routing configuration because if you want to use the net the basic routing have to be finished uh, successfully. Of course, in your public network, like the ISP R1, uh, this router doesn't need to get the private IP address, right? Also, can uh, don't need to get the private routing information. So pay attention about this part. So how to do the communication with private network through the net technology. And according to this process, let's do the configuration one by one. And I also will explain some detailed purpose and detailed key points in the process. So first is the basic configuration of the IP address and the VLANs. 
So in this topology, only the length switch need to configure the VLAN. All the other router maybe is terminal, maybe uh, all the other devices maybe is terminal, maybe is a router that need to configure the VLAN. So first uh, we have to create the VLAN on the length switch one. And about the length switch one also is a gateway of the PC1 and the PC2 and also the server. So first uh, let's do the configuration of the length switch one. Enter and also you enable create a password one two three dot region one two three dot and then config T to change the name to become LAN switch one. Right. And then we have to create a VLAN 10. And uh, the VLAN 10 is connected with the PC1. So you have to add the interface gigabit to 00, zero. and create a VLAN 20. Add the interface of 01. Create a VLAN 30. Add the interface of gigabit 02. It's okay, right? This is the basic configuration of the VLAN. And another IP address of PC1. IP 192.1.1.24. Uh, sorry, 192.168.1.1. So the mask is 24. The so gateway 192.168.1.254. Enter. It's ready. And another one for the PC2. IP 192.168.2.1.24. It's okay. And that is a server. Because if you, in your real network, you have the real device to provide the telnet service or maybe FTP service, maybe you were directed to deploy the server. And here we will use the router to provide the special application for the static net trans, uh, address translation technology. And about the server, enable Radio one two three dot radio one two three dot in the config T change the host name to become server and then enter the zero zero no switch and give an IP address one ninety two dot one six eight dot three dot one twenty four. Okay, so this is a basic configuration of the IP address. We don't need to create a VLAN on the router. And uh, when the router sends out a message to switch, this is a standard Ethernet message. And once the switch receives this one, we will add the VLAN 30. And uh, except the VLAN on the switch, the VLAN also is the gateway of three devices. So we have to create the SBI interface. Interface, VLAN 10. And uh, IP address 192.168.1.254. And also create a VLAN 20. IP Okay, and also create VLAN 30 IP address 192.168.3.254.24. Oh, sorry. 24. This is successful. This one should be. 3 the one, 3 the 254. Okay. This is a basic IP address of uh, switch one. 
three interface connect with the PC1, PC2, and the server. We also have one IP address connect with the router net, the media router, right? And here you can directly use a physical layer 3 interface to do the communication with the router. So the configuration is exist and enter the gigabit 03, changes the mode to become layer 3 switch. Enter. Okay. And then IP. IP 10.0.0.1 30. Oh, sorry, IP address. It's successful. So, this is a basic configuration of the switch. You also can do some tests to make sure that your IP address configuration is correct. You can ping your terminal 192.168.1.1. Is successful and also 2 the 1 is successful and another one for 3 the 1 of the server is also successful. Then you have to configure the IP address of the router. Net router. Enable radio 123 dot radio 123 dot config t and change the host name to become router net and then we have one physical interface to connect with the LAN switch right enter zero zero no switch in the IP address 10.0.0.2 30 and another interface to connect with ISP router zero one no switch and the IP address 12.0.0.1 30. Okay, so this is the basic configuration of the net. You also can do the test uh, connection with the LAN switch. And another one for the ISP router. Enable region 1 to 3, region 1 to 3. Config T changes the host to become ISP R1. And about this router, one interface 00, zero to connect with router net. No switch IP address 12.0.0.2. 30. And another interface 01 to connect with our PC3 and the no switch IP address 20.0.0.254 and another interface no switch IP address 20.0.1.254 Okay, so this is a basic configuration of the ISP router. And about the PC3, you have to give the IP address 20.0.0.1. And there is 24. Gateway is 20.0.0.254. Oh, no, no address. Then you can test if the connection is ready or not. Successful. And about your client, also is same. Enable. And uh, config T to enter 00. zero. And give the IP address 
percentage or zeros or ones or one hundred four. Okay, so this one is successful. And uh, now the basic IP address in VLAN is ready. And the second part, we have to complete uh, complete the basic root configuration. And about the terminal, it's very easy. If we add the gateway, we already create the default root on the terminal. And about the server, you have to provide the routing information, then we can wait uh, the different uh, segment. Because about the server, we only have one outer, in outer interface. So we only need to add a default root, it's enough. Here. Exist in the IP root zero 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 and the outer interface is zero zero next of one ninety two dot one sixty dot three dot two hundred and fifty four. It's okay, right? So now if you show your IP routing table we will find two roots, one for director roots and another one for the default roots. And also about the LAN switch. You can check your routing table at first. Now we have one, two, three, four, four director roots, right? Three connect with the terminal and the server, and another one connect with our router net. But if we want to visit the ISP, we also need the routing information but except the direct route how to wait the other side we only have one outer interface so about the LAN switch you also can add the default route okay ip route zero 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 and the next hope is 10.0.0.0 dot two outer interface is zero three should it be outer interface at first okay so now the switch is ready and also about the router because this is a made intermediate device right we have to give the route to wait as a terminal we have to give the route to wait the terminal. We also have, need the route to wait the ISP. So about the uh, router, router net, you can run some dynamic routing protocol like OSPF with the LAN switch together. So the net can get the terminal routing information from the OSP. Other ones, maybe you can give some static route because this topology is simple. And here we choose a static way and uh, one root IP root zero 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 and the outer interface is gigabit one and next of f twelve dot zero dot zero dot two. Usually we will use the default route to wait the internet because in the internet we have lots of segments. You don't have the ability to guess the detail one by one, right? So usually we can use some summary uh, routing or maybe default routing to wait the outside. And another one, how to wait the terminal. We have three segments, right? You can have the summary route because if the router net wants to wait the terminal, we only have one outer, outer interface, one path. So in this scenario, you can use some summary way. For example, IP root, IP root 192.160.0.0 and the mask to become 0, 0.0. And the outer interface is 0, 0. And next hope is 10.0.0.1. In your real network, if you use a summary or maybe uh, some other places, we call this is uh, aggregate routing. The mask should be shorter. Only can include only can include the detail segment you want to do. 
not like this one because I use uh, I use a big range to include uh, to include three segments, but the range is too big. Maybe someone want to wait the destination is 192.168.401. In our network, this segment is not exist, right? But the router net still will forward the message to the LAN switch one. Finally, LAN switch one to discuss the message. In some places, if you give the wrong configuration, there will be a, there may be have a loop. And uh, you also can add three detailed segments on router net also can work. So this is the configuration of the router net. And about the ISP, you also need the routing information, but this routing informa information doesn't mean the segment of 192.168.0.0, something like this. Because the ISP route one, this is a public router on our ISP network. We cannot add the private info, private routing information on the routing table. So you only need to add the routing information to wait the public IP address for the net technology. So here you have to add I exist IP root 183.5.1.0. The mask should be 255.255.255.240 and the outer interface 00, 5.0.0.1. So this one is very important to visit the public IP address of the router. And about the PC3, this is the terminal and we already gave the gateway address. And about the client, in order to, uh, in order to do the, in order to do the segment forwarding successful, you also need to add the router. If you have the real terminal, you, you give the gateway address, it's enough. But here we use the router to do the simulator for the client. So exist to add one router, one route, default route. 20. One It's okay. So now basic configuration is ready. If now the client want to ping the PC3, two of the zero to zero to one, it's also successful, right? Because we have routing information. But now if you want to ping the destination one ninety two to one sixty to one to one. It cannot, right? Because we don't deploy the net technology. So now we have to add the dynamic net on the router, on the net router here. And the configuration is, first you have to create the ACL access list. And here you use the standard ACL is enough. And uh, three segments can be permitted to wait the outside. You have to use the ACL to select one by one. And another one for the two dot zero. And the third one for the three dot zero. Okay. This. And then you have to enter the interface to define the inside interface and outside interface. IP net inside because maybe about this router we have lots of interface you have to know uh, which interface receives the message we have to do the translation so you have to define one by one about the interface there one sorry we should enter there one this is the outer interface it's ready and uh, which which public IP address can be used to do the translation? You have to create the net pool. IP net pool. And in the pool, you have to create the name to become ready. And the start IP address is 183.5.1.1. 183.5.1.15. And the network mask. 
should be two five five two five five two five five two forty. Okay, it's ready. So pay attention because in this route, uh, not about this route, the ISP route one, we add a special static route to uh, about the public IP address, right? One hundred eighty-three about this this segment. That's because the net router, the outer interface IP address is different segment with the public IP address. So you have to add the static route. Otherwise, if you directly use a 12.0.0.1 to become the public IP address, the static route is not enough. Uh, it's not needed to be added on the router. So pay attention about this one. And uh, which IP address can be selected to do the translation and which pool can be used? We have to combine with them together. And the com command is IP net inside source list should be one. And the pool address is regi. And when we do the translation, only translate the source IP address information all IP address and port number together depends on the keywords. If you add the keywords over overload, that means one public IP address can be used for multiple services. We will use different port number to distinguish them. So pay attention about this one. Now, for example, if you want to test the network connection with the outside network, right? Ping 20.0.0.0.1 it can be successful. And also, if you want to ping the client located on the ISP, you also can ping successful, right? So the network connection is ready. And we also have the last requirement. We have to provide the static source translation for the special server of the telnet. So here you also have to add the configuration of the router net. And the configuration here is IP net inside of the source static TCP. Source IP address is 192.168.3.1. And port number is 23. And which public IP address will be used? 1, 23. You also can use one public IP address like uh, 183.1.1.5.1 and it also can work. But this public IP address need to be built successfully from the ISP, from the client. And uh, permit, permit inside. Enter, right? So we already tested the network connection from PC2 from the intranet access to visit the outside, to visit the public network. And now we can test the network connection from the server to the internet. For example, here, enable widget123 and the pin 20.0.1.1. You can ping successful. And also when you ping to another client PC3, you also can ping successful. After you ping, you can see the network translation here. Network router. To show the IP net translation. So pay attention about this one. We only keep the net session in the in several seconds. So about also depends on different uh, protocols. The time of I, ICMP packets is very shorter. So you have to pay again, like the client to visit our internet. Oh, this is a public to visit the our inside. You have to test here to pay again, then immediately to check the translation. You can see some information here, right? Otherwise, maybe you can ping all the time. You can see the translation one by one. And about the inside the global, the IP address is the public IP address, right? And the, what's the private IP address? What's the outer local and the outside the global? Because we wait this segment. And uh, you can ping another one for one by one. Enter and to check again immediately. You also can see this information.
and we use different port number to distinguish different terminals. So this is a basic basic configuration of the uh, uh, dynamic net. And another one, we also add a static routing, a static net technology for the special porter, uh, port 23. And this is a telnet service. So you also have to use a client to wait for the telnet server to test the network connection. And about the client now, if you ping the destination, for example, you direct it to ping 12.0.0.0. .0 .0 one, it can successful. This because the root information, not about the technology. But if here you want to do the telnet, this is a client, right? We can change the host name. It's better to understand here. Okay. If now you want to use a telnet, to test the net uh, static routing information, 12 to 0 to 0 to 1, you cannot tell net successful because you also have to add some telnet service on the router. Then the router can provide the telnet service. For example, here, config TE in the line VTY 0 to 4. And uh, the password should become one two three four five six seven eight nine zero. This is not a strong password. In your real network, please change a higher password. This is it, too weak. And uh, our transport protocol, you can choose to become Telnet. Okay, and then you can use a client to test again. Telnet, 12.1.0.0.0.1, Okay, now you log in the server successful, right? And then you can do some command. 3.2.3. Okay, so this is the Telnet service. And uh, on the router net, on this router, you also can see the translation here. We will find the protocol is different with ICMP. This is TCP and the inside global address, the inside local address, outside IP address, and the outside global. So when we tell net, we use the IP address is 12.0.0.1. This is the public IP address of the router net, right? But result, lastly, we will tell that the data device is a server. So this is the basic configuration of the dynamic net and the static net. That's all. Thank you.